Look, I don't need Donald Trump to give me anything. He's I'm a 27 year old black woman on CNN. So that's first and foremost. Secondly, I think he definitely made the case to the people of Flint, to the people of Michigan, and the American people for that matter, uh, that he is the only candidate on that stage that is poised to take on this rigged economy, kept in place by a system of corrupt campaign finance. So Democrats need to focus on the overall message of explaining who we are as Democrats, what does it mean to be a progressive, and how Democrats are going to fight for the American people. These well, are the facts, Dana. To do that, but the modern-day Republican Democratic Party is not the party of Lincoln. Look, the modern-day party has Republican failed. Party is a the radical Democratic conservative party. Has party. Has that is the party that built up Donald Trump. That's why we have less people have currently. Look, and I think that Donald Trump politicizes information when the information was leaked from WikiLeaks, and he repeatedly used it in his campaign. It's not the party of Lincoln. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that built up Donald Trump. That is the party that Simone, go ahead. Literally, Pepsi go. just used Kendall Jenner to co-opt the resistance to sell a freaking can of soda, okay? There were no police pictured in riot gear as they often are when black and brown people are putting their bodies on the line to protest police. This is absolutely crazy. And, and the commercial center, a white woman in the middle of the movement when it's black women and brown women, women and brown men and black men who are putting their bodies on the line. I cannot. I don't even drink Pepsi. I'm a Coke drinker. April Ryan's only crime today, if you will, was being a black woman at work. And mm -hmm. Sean Spicer Please. could not handle that. Stop. Give me but a break. Yes, that's yes, that's you know, you know, Hold on. Women, 53% of white not. women voted no, for Trump. No, 42% of all women. women and black all women. women. I'm talking black women. Black women, women, women and black women, women were not voting for Donald to, Trump. Let's God. be very clear here. But, the, but, the March, this, let's be very clear here on that point. It was white women that elected Donald Trump. No, black women and Latino women did not do this. We should not be empowering the government and anybody else other than women to limit what we can do with our bodies to tell us what to do. No one's telling a man what to do with his penis. I don't understand why my uterus and vagina is so much a topic of conversation. Good morning, everyone. And stay for the end here because another commentator, a woman named Simone Sanders, delivered what might turn out to be the knockout punch of the year. I want to say something here that I know will probably drive Simone crazy, but think of uh, President Trump as the Martin Luther King of health care. Oh, when I Jeffrey. Kid, Jeffrey. When, when I was a kid, President Jeffrey. Kennedy did not want to introduce the, the Civil Rights Bill because he said it wasn't popular, he didn't have the votes for it, etc. Dr. King kept putting people in the streets in harm's way to put the pressure on so that okay. the bill would be introduced. That's what Jeffrey, finally Jeffrey, you do worked. understand that, that you do Jeffrey, understand that Dr. King was marching for Carol. civil rights because people that look like me were being were, were being beaten. Correct, Dogs correct, were being sick on them. Basic human rights were being withheld from these people so, merely because of the color of their skin. So let's not equate uh, Dr. Agree. Martin Luther King Jr., a humanitarian and Nobel Peace Prize winner, to the vagina grabbing President Donald Trump. <laughs> This is the vagina grabbing president, Donald Trump. If he ever gets a statue, I'd like to see that engraved on the base. <laughs> Nicely done, Simone.